6.30, so I will call this meeting to the order. If we could stand and do the pledge, there's a flag in the Oh, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. And our mission. Our mission is to prepare and support all students within a culture of excellence to do their best and to be their best, so that each can be a successful contributing citizen, able to adapt to change and to successfully respond to the future. So this is a special meeting. So we have only two agenda items. Um, is Joe attending? Uh, remotely yet? I don't see him yet. Okay. Um, so our first agenda item is to act on the superintendent's resignation. Um, is there anybody that hasn't seen that? Um, Steve, I'm not sure. Did you? No, you. Okay. So I will just, I will read it. Uh, dear board chair, Mary Martin and RSU 16 school board members. It is with mixed emotions that I write to you to share that I will be resigning as superintendent of schools in RSU 16 at the conclusion of the current school year. Rest assured, this is not a decision that came easy for me. I not express the great appreciation that I have for the opportunity you afforded me to serve in my current role. The relationships that I was able to build with school board chair Mary Martin, vice chair Joe Perrin, and the rest of the members of the board are something that I've appreciated and valued over the past 10 plus months. There have been some challenges, however, and we have been able to address them and move forward. I have always felt supported by the board, which has been a lot to me. I'm so impressed with the staff, students, family, board member, and community members that comprise RSU 16. While it was brief, I always remember my time in the district. I truly wish nothing but the best for the districts in the future. Respectfully, we need to act upon that resignation. What's that mean? We need to act upon that resignation. Deep, deep regard. Okay. A motion to accept the resignation. Is that the only explanation we're getting? It's not really much of one. Um, just well, we've got a motion first. We need a second. Oh, second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, Randy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Todd, that's unfortunate. I was really uh, 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 having a good time working alongside you. I think you and I had a, a similar idea where this district could go. Um, I'm disappointed that I'm not really, I feel like I'm maybe not getting pulled everything. I'm, I'm surprised to see it bounce out like this. I, um, I don't have, I probably don't speak for just myself. Uh, I wish uh, I wish I had a better idea of what was going on here. I'm going to be relocating. I'm sorry. I'm going to be relocating to the new post area. Yeah, actually, and the commute will just be on the other side. And they just ironically enough, they have to be a position of the way and the green comes out. Um, so the off the off to the board itself is something that could. She so wish we could get you to stay with us fun kids. <laughs> you as you, as you stated in your email, which you gave me, I gave me high shopping. adventure, plenty of excitement. And, and I mean that. I mean, this is a very high function year. Um, it's worked very well. And, and like I said, I felt nothing but support. And support and, and I appreciate it. It was not an easy thing. Can I just ask, do you feel like the, um, was your decision influenced at all by kind of what's happening in this district? Uh, was there anything other than your move that made you feel like? That? No, I mean, there's always things that come in play and you always have challenges you have to deal with. I mean, has it all been easy? No. Um, we've got some difficult things to deal with. Uh, but you get that in the district. So, um, you know, it's, it's really the, and one of those things, I guess you could say, oh, that's no fun. But where do you go? You get something similar. So um, it was really, and it wasn't something that 
accepted the position. I anticipated doing it. Don't want the board to know that it wasn't. But I came in with the intent of being the first thing that they liked. Not my intent. I came in as I believe I said in my own words, wanting this to be my final spot. You know, That's why I'm I'm not buying because your your level of commitment when you came into this district was um, respectable. Like we could all tell on the committee, the search committee, that you were in it for the long haul and that you knew this mess that we were getting into, you didn't bat an eye at it. I mean, what you did at home behind closed doors may be one thing, but you showed up with the intention of wanting to genuinely help us and like willing to face this, you know, multifaceted mess that we're in. So um, I'd like to make a motion that we move to executive session to discuss it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. That's how we do vote on the first. We motion. do have a motion on the oh. floor. The motion on the floor uh, is we'll to draw the motion. The motion on the floor is to ex accept the superintendent's designation. And we have a second. Is there any more discussion on that? Is there any reason that we couldn't move into executive session after that vote, or would we yeah. want to? We can talk about that motion after we. I'm just wondering if that would be for this one. Are there any more comments before we vote? So we have to vote now and then go to executive session and then come back and what we do? Well, I think you can vote to accept it and, and still have some questions. So the motion was to accept the resignation. And we have a second. All those in favor? It's John on. Okay. Joe is there. We'll need to sneak in there for Steve. I don't see Joe unless he's Kim Warren is our only person online. I don't know if he said if he's logging into somebody else. So I, I don't even think he's there. So all those favor? Just sort of wrong. Those? Yeah. Um, opposed? If you raise your hand, that's Emily, Randy, Elizabeth, Sarah. Melanie, and me, and Andrew. Well, now what happened? Yeah. Well, it's really not. I mean, it's, it's no. Really I mean, token. it's really uh, is, when you make that. A lot of districts just do a, an information, informative thing to the board, saying we're just letting the board made over there. It's really it's, right. It's yeah. not a buy. It's not right. a buy. You're not a slave. You don't come to the board. Yeah. That vote don't put you in hand. Yeah. I, I just yeah. I, I guess <laughs> to to vote against. I mean, it. it really is a, at this point is a, a formality um when our superintendent resigns and within his contract it's within the the, the limitations of his contract is 60 days um, which he's giving us that notice so it's really to vote against it it's not going to change the action message, you know, doesn't it? yes it does that's a message that would say Yes. We don't like it. We're going to take our ball and go on. As long as people understand, even though that's the vote, that we're not, we, we can't hold <laughs> beyond the 60 days. I think we all understand that. Well, okay. I need some handcuffs. <laughs> okay. So, Angela, you had it. I'd like to, yeah, uh, repeat my motion of moving into executive session. Second. You have to have a specific feeling. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so the, the motion would be to enter into executive session regarding a personnel issue pursuant to 
under 1 MRSA 4056A. Do you have a second for that? Yeah, I did. So, second to Steve, we have a motion and second. There any discussion? Immediately? Yeah. Or yeah. after? No, the motion was to go into executive session now, right? Yes. That was the motion and that was the second. So right. All those in favor? You want to oppose? You will go into executive session. Uh, Steve? No idea. You abstaining? Yeah, abstaining. Okay. Yes. One abstaining. So we also need to so we will have to ask me to Thanks for coming. Yeah. We'll be back. Yeah, we have yeah. other agenda items. So our our next item is to form a search committee and then we're going to talk about sort of the, the timeline. So at the, our, our last uh, superintendent search committee, uh, there were two board members from each community. And the board members that served on it last time were Angela, Steve, Joe, Christine, I was on it, and Jess, and Amy was an advisory member to that committee. And then as, as we walk through this timeline, we also had a, a stakeholder committee um, that helped us with the second interview. So tonight, we need to start by forming that committee. Do I have, and I, I think probably we should have two from, from each community if it works out that way. And we really don't want more than six. We can't have a, a four. I'll be on it again. I will as well. Bingo. Bingo. So, okay, well, that would be, I have you guys figure it out then if that's three from my net. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, you can do it. No, I, I really want them. I know. Okay, Mary, are these mostly right. evening meetings or like the interviews? Do those happen during the day? Um, they. Usually do happen some during the day. The interviews. That would be better for me. I'm just wondering. Yes, the interviews generally either late afternoon and into the evening, but sometimes they would be some some part of the day. Um, I think start that I can do it. We start the application. So do we have the other people that would like to be on that? Okay. We have enough for mechanic balls. So Randy and I know Joe would like to be. So. I've done it before, so if you want to have a turn, uh, stand aside. <laughs> sure. Okay. And I will be and Andrea. Okay. I wish I could, but I just like I can. Okay. So that's six. So that is for us. Angela and Steve combine it. Randy and Joe, Olin, and Dave. Um, last time, the committee did do a community and staff survey. I guess my next question is whether the board still feels that that's necessary. We still have the one from uh, that we did for. That we did last year and also the strategic planning committee has a survey so it, if the board feels that that gives us enough input from the community in terms of uh, last time the qualities and the competencies from the survey uh, that were the strongest were communication, uh, the ability to communicate clearly with staff, parents, students, and community, both verbally and in writing. It was personnel management, excellent people skills, the ability to recruit and retain high quality staff, 
strong uh, personnel management practices and an understanding of collective bargaining issues. And the other one was leadership, able to motivate, lead, guide, and direct people, committed to implementing the mission and vision of the school system. And then in that survey, the following topics were listed as priority focus areas, staff hiring and retention, school security and safety and student needs, academic and social emotion. And I think the, as a member of the strategic planning committee, um, what I think that survey would also give us some information about um, from the community, what they saw as priorities in terms of certainly facilities was part of that. Um, and also academically some programming information. Are there other things in that, Amy, that you have with that survey would give us from today? Um, yeah, I think just addressing the academic pieces of the um, how do we create our lifelong learners with alternate pathways for students. And then the SEL part is how do we uh, address student behavior that includes drug and alcohol and vaping use too. So I, I guess a decision and usually it would be the committee that would make this decision but we just don't have time for that because if we're going to get out a survey it kind of has to happen right now. So it's whether the board feels that we have enough information from the one we did a year ago and the strategic planning one or whether we need to do another survey. And I feel like we had enough in that survey based off of one thing. There is motion is that we don't need to do it, but we have the motion. We have the information from us. So we have a second yep. for that yep. from Patrick. Any more discussion? What is the motion again? The motion was that we not send out a separate survey because we have the survey mm -hmm. that we did a year ago, which um, it, it is current, and then we have the strategic planning survey. The motion was not to do another survey. Any other discussion? Yes. Um, how hard would it be to run a survey if we use the same questions as last time and just popped it out there? Because I feel I'm concerned that the community would not appreciate us not asking what they think and then proceeding on our own. Amy, can you answer that for me in terms of? How, how difficult would that be if we use the same survey that we did last year? It's very easy. Okay, so we could do that then. So, so I'm just wondering if it, would, if it hinders any timelines as far as um, giving us less time I mean, getting the survey I, I getting think it if back, we got it gonna... out tomorrow, okay. which is I think what we need to do is get it out tomorrow so that if we would have yeah. that information, we have to have it when we started to look at um, applications, because that's going to help us sort through the applications if there's any additional information. What would be the deadline on that survey? It would have to be done within the next couple of weeks. So we so have to get it out tomorrow. Yeah. So it's a kind of a shorter survey link. Two people are more apt to fill it out when they immediately get it, mm -hmm. feeling that pressure. Mm -hmm. Although I don't want to miss the deadline. So, Melanie? Would it be advantageous to have it by the board? Um, we, we can do that. I just want to remind if it wouldn't. Just using that meeting as a as a informational gathering before any other meeting on the 12th. I would give you almost three weeks. Yeah. If you put it out tomorrow, that should be enough time. Yeah, we I would think we would, would, we would want to have the results do or don't handle. No, I was saying a week is enough time, in my opinion. If oh, we're okay. going to fill it out, they'll fill it out. I mean, adding two is that enough on. for you to compile that information? Amy has to Amy? do stuff to it. Yeah, you know, is that enough for you to actually do the work? To, yeah, if we want to have it done by June 1st, uh, and then that way there's the time to compile it before your June 14th. Right, but the motion was to not do the survey, and there was a second for that. So all those in favor of not do the survey. So that motion dies. So would you like to make a motion to do a survey? I will make a motion to do the survey by June 1st. Second. 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 
Any more discussion? To all those in favor. Oh, Sorry, I have one question. Uh, when, when those results are um, presented, could, could we also have like the other ones presented that we're kind of considering anyway? That's, I, I think it'd be nice to see like if there really wasn't any change. Either. Sure. Oh, that's one of those. Yeah, that's, 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 that's good information. Yeah. Um, Sarah. Sarah, what, what was the day you to the June 1st? Sorry, just thinking. So that we had all the results for the board. So we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? So we will do that. So, um, so tomorrow, um, I will meet with Todd and Lauren. Lauren helped last time in terms of making sure we get out all of the information in terms of the application, a brochure, um, a description of the position, and we can pretty much use what we we did, we used last time. So we just need to update that. Um, last time it was posted on serving schools, school spring, and I've had a, I have talked to MSMA and they said they will do whatever they can also to get that out not only on their website but if they know people that are interested share that and i think we also i need to do a community letter that details the process just since we have a large public meeting tomorrow night i know the agenda has been advertised and set but can we make a statement about this, like at the beginning, as you're welcoming people to the meeting, because this is, everyone is thinking about this. I feel like we should just address it and advertise today and whatever, just some sort of update to right at the beginning of the meeting. And just let people know that we're working as yeah, hard as, as quickly as possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go take that survey. I can, mm -hmm. I can oh, do yes. that as part of my introduction. Thank um, you. And uh, I will also work you develop a that decision. Mary, I can't remember. Was it one parent from each tent or just one parent? I can't remember. We had, I think we had, well, maybe it was a representative that we had from each town yeah. that filled the parent role. I think yeah. that's what we did. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. we did have one representative from each town that also sort of get the parent representation. And then the next week, we would have to conduct uh, initial interviews, begin doing reference checks, uh, identify candidates for the second interview. And then we would ask the search, uh, the stakeholder group to help us with the setting. Set of interviews. Steve? Would it at all help the search committee to look over Todd Sanders' own superintendent goals and the superintendent evaluation in order to see if there's any material they could use for formulating interview questions? Or am I reinventing the wheel? No, I mean, I think when, when we've done, and maybe you can. Angela and people have been on that committee. When we've looked at um, interview questions, we have we've depended a lot on our surveys. What what we've been told by our communities that they're looking for, but also if there are issues that we are aware of within the district and things that need to be addressed. And I think facilities is one of those sort of ongoing ones that because so much of our our energy has gone into that that we certainly want to include those conclusions. And so best case scenario would be that um, in, in June that June 24th I think is our, our next our June subcommittee uh, that we would vote on a, a final candidate. And then a couple of things that I listed as possibly factors that might impact the implement, 
implementing that timeline would be if the candidate pool is too small after advertising. What's too small? I'm just, I'm, I literally well, know. and sometimes, you know, you've got a pool of four candidates, but they're really strong candidates. And you've yeah. got a, then maybe you've got a solid yeah. pool. But if you've got four candidates and within that, you really only have one candidate, then maybe right. that's, it's too small. So it kind of depends on um, when you look at how many are viable candidates. What was your timing? Does the timing can cause a problem just because, as it does sometimes, finding teachers in the summer. And it is. And when I talked to um, Steve Bailey at Main School Management, he said that, you know, uh, if it's a candidate that's already employed somewhere, this is the end of June. So just as Todd had a 60 day in his, at the end of June, does just because we've selected them doesn't mean they're available at the, the end of June. Within so, a week. <laughs> if we offer something on the 24th and we meet mm -hmm. here July 1st, that it's is not gonna, it's not gonna happen unless it's somebody that is I'm in a going. different situation. I mean, sometimes that happens. Yeah. Good question. Um, when in regards to the what is it, sixty or ninety day, sixty, is that per contract or is that part of the main principles association? It's like per the, contract. So, so it some, depends on some, the candidate with what contract you sign. Yeah. Some yeah. candidates may have even. Well, that's what I was. I, I guess that's what I was getting at. Is it? Is there a way to avoid this in the future with you know a two year contract and these are your expectations and you need to meet your obligations and change them. that's what i'm looking towards yeah. because this is a lot of work for every community to have to keep going so it sounds like a good interview avoid. question though too <laughs> when yeah. are you available <laughs> that's all yes okay yep. and you know there's the other thing that that steve bailey said was that you know if if we feel that we don't have enough candidates we can look at an interim for a year where we have just a candidate that is basically going to be our superintendent um, for a year. And during that year, we, we look for another candidate. Just for context, how many people applied last time? Um, eight. Yeah. Todd. Eight. <laughs> and we had uh, two candidates that we took to the stakeholder. Mary, mm -hmm. uh, all superintendent contracts that 60 day notice uh, that varies. It varies. Yeah, it varies. Uh, we could hire them and they could just say, well, 60 days and get them and in some, August or whatever. Yeah. But most schools. It seems like I've heard this before. If somebody is resigning from them, the school district don't hold them to that contract. They just, you know. Yeah, and most of the, the contracts will say that it can, it's mutually agreed upon. That often, that is what happens. Is it's mutually agreed that yeah. you don't have to. You have to part taught, am I right? Here's the door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't let it hit you. You know where. Yeah. Mary, can um, can you review the stakeholder group? It's a student, parent, student. We had students, at the end, as Angela said, we did have a town representative, which was basically filled our, our parent role. So there was one from each town. Um, we had a representation from administration. Can I ask, actually, I'm a little bit curious about that. The, the representative from the town, was this like a select board member? No, it was. Um, okay. No, it was a community member. And each, okay. each I do feel like it should be a parent. Each each town selected there. Yeah, it was the select board. Why did the select board get to be a no offense to the select board? I'm just curious. I do think it should be a parent. Thank yeah. you. For the, for the summer. I, mean, I did it for the Yeah, as a parent. I just don't know if we should maybe specifically. I, I mean, it's the superintendent of schools. I feel like the parents should be the ones that are the town representative. Can we yeah. just add, can you say the select board gets to pick one person, but also look like a parent from each town as well? Or maybe the select board can just say, I don't know. I, I don't know why 
I love our select board. I just don't know why the select board is the one choosing. I just, I just wouldn't want to restrict them. Let them send whoever they want to in. Ask for a parent to step up. Remember, Joey? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think what, the reason that we didn't was we were trying to make sure that the group was not too large. Oh, I think you just don't want the same adding. person every time. And right. so I feel like maybe right. like that group of people knows like one particular person and they just send that person. Like, let's change it up and like have somebody come who maybe hasn't been involved in the past. You're talking about a parent a kids parent. in the school? Yes. Yes. A parent of students in this district. So they would just have to go to a select meeting and volunteer sure to participate yeah, maybe or just request to participate request that parents volunteer and go to whatever yes absolutely mm -hmm. i just think maybe people have uh, people. Yeah, people. Yeah, no that would be six seven i think nine. Nine. last time we were trying to i think we had 13 people we thought that was uh, because it also includes people on the search committee and board people it's going to be a silly question, but should our pool be way too small or no applicants? Um, is the next candidate in line to nominate Amy? It's, um, you know, I think this is, we, we can choose an interim or we can certainly get this process is open to anybody that would like to. I think we have to open up. It has we to have to open it up. She chooses to apply. She chooses. I was just I wondering that process. Isn't that process. how it usually? The, it's about. an open process for people that are interested. To I was just wondering. Do we have any other questions? If not, um, we have a motion to adopt this timeline. No move to adopt the timeline. Second. Second. Is there any other questions? One question. You're going to let us know about June 4th when you talk to Joe. We're going to have an executive meeting or not. Yes. That's the only thing we're going to hear from you yep. between now and moving forward. Yep. Okay. Thank you. That, those are the only two things we had on this agenda. Yeah, we need a vote. Oh, I thought we did. All right. All those in favor? Yes. No, I move we adjourn. Wait, can I ask a question before we adjourn? Yes. Um, unrelated to the superintendent stuff, the operations committee has been very busy, as you all know, and our meeting was canceled tonight in lieu of this important development. Should we, can I add a meeting? Or we have a lot of work to do that we can't lose sight of. So I'm concerned about waiting till the end of June to get together again. Right, and we haven't had updates. We didn't have updates last, you know, in a while. So I'd like to just throw that. Can we do that through email, or how do well, we, we do that here? A couple nights a week. So how do you know now? Seven days a week. Like an additional meeting, just so we all. Okay. Can we pick a date while we're all together? Can we do yeah. that separately? I just wasn't sure if I had to be in this meeting. Outside? Okay, thank you. Right. So we have a motion to adjourn. Steve, did I hear you make that motion? Yeah, we did. All right. Second? Yeah. Second. 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 Oh, Patrick. Steve Peter. and Patrick, yeah. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? I have those. Are those are in favor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>